Joining us now, our Thursday regular, the national sports editor of the Daily Hive. It's our buddy Rob Williams. Rob, the hockey guy here with Sick Harrison Price. How you doing, Rob? Doing great, guys. How are you? Very well. Um, last week when we when we talked, we were we talked about hashtag free the skate. But boy, we've got a lot of clues here, a lot of breadcrumbs in the last week. Rob, explain. Yeah, you know, conveniently. Uh... Someone decided to fly a uh, plane with hashtag free the skate out the back uh, hours after after my hit last week, perhaps to get away from my uh, suspicion on the Sakarison Price show. Who knows? Um, I, I, was susp- I think the whole thing's a marketing play. Uh, there's kind of like no doubt in my mind now. Uh, we saw a fan show up at Rogers Arena with a hashtag free the skate sign happening only days after we saw Canucks players in flying skate equip Canucks PR saying that this is going to be used in an auction, practice worn equipment in an auction. That doesn't really make much sense. We then saw a plane fly, you know, instead of fire Jim Benning or, or sell the team or whatever they, they did not uh, in 2021 saying, you know, hashtag free the skate. Seems like unusual timing to me. Nobody's claimed responsibility for this plane. There's no way a group of fans would not uh, come out on social media and say they did this. So I don't think there's any way that this is coming from anyone else but the Canucks themselves. We even saw a couple of kids wearing uh, uh, flying skate jerseys in Pittsburgh, of all places, with with uh, with a, a sign that said hashtag free the skate. I, it seemed like a really well done sign. I don't know if that's a kid sign. Maybe the parents help, but that just, I, I haven't got a great explanation for that one. I don't know who they got on the ground in Pittsburgh, but the whole thing seems fishy to me. Everything, everybody's got a bad taste in their mouth with the season. But do you give them credit for this? I mean, we're, we're talking about it. It's intriguing. I mean, it's not lazy. Like the lazy thing is to do something digital and viral. They went old school flying a freaking banner <laughs> behind a plane. Like, like that's the one thing that throws me off a little bit. It's it's so old school and off the beaten path. Like that, it's an odd choice. But and it also harkens back to a, a moment in Canuck history that the organization wasn't super fond of, and that was the uh, Uncle Elite uh, flown uh, right. banner that that they weren't su- super pleased about. So it it harkened <laughs> memories of that as well. So. That makes me less suspicious, but overall, l- let's say that it is orchestrated. Do we give them credit you know, for it? I was having this exact conversation with my wife. Uh, <laughs> I I was kind of like, you know, like, I don't know, like, this is all like orchestrated. And I kind of, and she was like, no, this is great. Like, this is, this is awesome. Like, and I, and I was like, maybe I'm just getting too jaded. I'm becoming, I'm becoming a crusty old sports writer uh, before our, our very eyes here. Um if it makes people excited then yes if it makes people go like what what's going on then then no so i guess it really depends on how it makes people feel for me i'm sort of like i'm not really like oh that's clever i'm like oh they used a, they planted a fan in the stands again so um i i guess it, it depends it depends on your your own personal uh, feelings towards it i, I suppose uh, since we're doing conspiracy theories, I'll float you mine, Rob W., and you tell me uh, what you think. But, see, I think that Francesco and ownership is very concerned about if they have to rebuild, will fans still show up to Rogers Arena and pay their money for the tickets? So my conspiracy theory is that Hockey Ops has gone home and said, Francesco, we absolutely have to rebuild now. There's no getting around it. But in order to keep people going back to Rogers Arena, Let's bring back the skate <laughs> for next year. And people will be dazzled by the shiny object, old, new, shiny object. Are you talking full-time? Like I'm changing talking full-time. Oh, wow. I am talking full-time next year. They adopt that's, that's the That's the skate. Arizona Coyotes model, right? Because <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you're going to lose, lose in garments that the fans feel better about than I your current I don't think there's attire. any way they, they go away from blue and green full time. I think that's here to stay as long as the Aquilines uh, own the team. I think that's the one that they like. Um, but I, I think it's the third jersey. That, that I, think, I think it's full time third jersey and, yeah. and we'll see it uh, you know, continually uh, in their rotation. Uh, let's move along here, Rob, because uh, this got me excited when I saw you emailed, uh, emailing about it. 
NFL games at BC Place in the yeah. future? What do yeah. you know? What do you What do you <laughs> yeah, think? You know what's funny? This 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 is really kind of stems from a report in 2021 that I wrote about and I had sort of half forgotten about and was reminded about it this week. Uh, and it's that you know the NFL, of course, playing all these international games. They played in London. They played Mexico City and Munich this year, been very successful for them. Uh, the NFL essentially said that the they they want to play up to five international games each season. All 32 teams are going to be involved in games uh, once every eight years at, at minimum. And that they listed out the, the places that were going to be a focus for them. And they listed out, they listed it out in alph- alphabetical order, but Canada was listed first. They also listed the United Kingdom, Europe, Mexico, South America. Well, they've gone to, you know, three of the, those five places that they've listed already. When is it Canada's turn? And so we're now next season will be year three of, of uh, since the uh, press release. If you're going to Canada, why not Vancouver? It's it's yeah. a clear choice. Rogers Center, of course, hosted a bunch of Bills games. It wasn't terribly successful. Rogers Center is also going through a bunch of renovations at the moment. They're turning the stadium more into a true uh, ballpark it's baseball for the Blue Jays. So I don't yeah. even know yeah. if it's even. Mm-hmm. Uh, even I don't know if it's an option either. Yeah. No, so, I, I don't know. So do you yeah. go to BMO Field? Do you go to, to Tim Hortons Field? The problem with those, d- does the NFL want to have a have a game in Canada in late November, early December when it's absolutely freezing outside? Um, I don't think CFL teams w- would take too kindly to playing NFL games in season in their stadiums. So to me, it's the, the, the obvious choice is BC place after the gray cup late November mm-hmm. makes, it makes a ton of sense. Um, Mexico city uh, is apparently out, out of the equation for this upcoming season because they've got uh, renovations to their stadiums. Uh, it, it seems clear to me, like if you're going to go to Vancouver, it, it's gotta be, you know, if you're going to go to Canada, it's gotta be Vancouver. Uh, I spoke mm-hmm. to uh, sport hosting uh, Vancouver. There's nothing imminent or anything like that. There's, you know, there's nothing like really in the works, but you know, it's, it's obviously something that, that they're interested in. BC Lions are hosting the Grey Cup next year. So come in 2024, because that's obviously a, a big focus for uh, sport hosting, but uh, otherwise, yeah, it, why not Vancouver? And it's kind of, I think it flew under the yeah. radar in 2021 because it was around the time it was very COVID-y and we were playing games in empty arenas. So people weren't really getting excited about it. Do we want the Hawks for that guys? Or do we well, want Raiders 49ers? I, I, I was just, I was just looking at it. Um, the Seahawks were not the home team in Munich against Tampa Bay this year. Yeah. Um, I mean, to me, it only makes sense that, you know, that it that is the Seahawks. A, that it is the Seahawks. And well, it we, is Matt, all, we can do that anyway. If you're, if you're an NFL fan, well, can you can we? do that anyway. Can we, though? No, <laughs> not on this side of the border. So, not a BC place. So, and every team's got to give up a home game, right? Eventually. So, you know, if, if you're Seattle and you go, if we have to give up a home game, let's do it somewhere where we know we're going to have the lion's share of the uh, partisanship. So, one thing that's interesting is that the NFL also had an announcement. Uh, about a year, year and a half ago, about dividing up marketing areas in different countries. Right. So there are many teams that, you know, like the Tampa Bay Bucks, uh, Germany's like part of their marketing area where they're allowed to market to. And just so happened, Tampa Bay was one of the teams that played in Germany. And if you look at the, there's, I think there's five teams that have the United Kingdom. Four of them have played in London in the last two years. Uh, the two teams that played, you know, San Francisco and Arizona, both played in Mexico City. They have Mexico in their in their marketing areas. There's two teams right. that, that chose Canada, and it's Seattle and it's Minnesota. So I, I, I would assume right. that if, if you're going to see games in Canada, it's going to be one of those two teams playing. Yeah, and the NFL uh, also mentioned that this, this, according to their data, the Seahawks were quite popular in um, Germany, which is why they were op- the opponent. For Tampa Bay, huh, Rob? I think you might have figured it out. Seattle, 
versus the Vikings at BC Place <laughs> late November 2024. We'll hold you to it. Mark yes. Dreesen is ecstatic. <laughs> yes. yes. Big Vikings fan. Uh, shout out Kyle and everybody. All the Cameron, all the Vikings fans at the Pemby. We were overwhelmed there with Vikings fans. Uh, thanks for this, buddy. Appreciate it. We'll catch up next Thursday. Thanks, yes.